What's up guys? It's King Daddy Dmac and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Feed the Beast. Oh yeah, I love this game. Um yeah. So last episode guys we we're working on mob farms on that witch trap which ended up kind of failing but that's okay we're gonna fix it today and at the beginning of last episode we actually I showed off this gas farm and I'm sure by now you've seen both top mass and spoons episode showing us build this when I was going through there's a couple of things about it I was not very happy when I was watching their videos I actually realized first of all we didn't make this the right size it's supposed to be at least the walls 10 by 10 and for whatever reason I told them to do 9x9, nine nine, which makes no sense because you want to have 8x8 eight eight spawning area. So that's one issue. The other problem was we could not get this dang portal to be big enough. And I could not understand why. We did a whole bunch of sizes and let me just get rid of this other book. This is the size that we settled for, 7x7. Seven seven. I just couldn't figure the dang thing out. So let me... Can I pick up the book, please? Can I pick you up? Thank you. So after mulling it over and talking to a few people, finally was able to figure out, look at this, look at this. So w we could not make, all I wanted was even an eight by eight portal I would have been happy with. Look at that. Look at the size of this thing. It is gargantuan and we could make it even bigger. Now, why the heck will this work and that won't? Some of you may know. I'm sure a lot of you know. But I sure as heck didn't know. Let's put this back in. We don't want ghasts. Come on. Don't want ghasts just sitting in there watching us. Here's the issue. Now, watch this. I'm going to hit F9. And look it. You know these little line things? Everybody was doing videos and they're like, why are these little line things? These are basically showing the chunk borders. Now, with this one, see, it's it's easily in the chunk. It doesn't cross any borders. Whereas with this guy, let's put our grab. By the way, I love my gravity suit. I don't know how I lived without this thing. Check this out. See, there's a chunk border right there. And that basically cut it off so we couldn't make this farm any bigger for the portal. So, I think real quick, I'm going to sort of move this farm over so it fits nicely in a single chunk and we'll be able to do all the exact correct dimensions. So, first things first, let's get that spawner out of there before it causes any problems. Where is the spawner anyway? Where are you, spawner? Okay. Got the gas shard, got everything, awesome. So first I am going to just change this room to be eight by eight. So I'm gonna do that and I'll see you guys right, right back. All right guys, little progress update. Um, I put in where the placement of the spawner will be and I made the roof go five blocks above where that spawner is because basically again we talked about this yesterday so i won't talk about it too much again today but they can the sp uh, spawnable spots are one above the spawner one below the spawner and four on one side three on the other now the only issue is gas are more if they were to spawn right here because this is a spawn all these are spawnable spaces a gas isn't only one block a gas is I think it's four or five blocks. So if a gas were to spawn here, it might not be able to because it would be trapped from the spawner and certainly this way, this wall's in the way. So these probably are things, reasons why a tier five gas spawner was spawning so slowly before. Um, I think we're gonna have to make this room be at least five blocks from every side of the spawner. In fact, should probably test this, but it's probably quicker to just build it anyway, and I'll test it later and let you know. Probably would actually want five blocks further from this block since it's possible for gas to spawn this far over. So I'm going to make this even larger. And since I now know you can make portals that big, might as well just make it the whole freaking chunk and we'll see how it does. 
So I'm going to update that. All right, guys, I think we are just about done. Um, I ended up making it even higher. So right here, this right here is what a normal spawner thing would be as far as their possible spawning area. But then we give them a couple more blocks because then I actually looked it up. A ghast needs four by four by four. So we have one, two, three, four, and that's the furthest spot that it can spawn. So on all sides, I have at least four blocks. And I ended up making it, I think, yeah, we are exactly one chunk. I could have done it in one direction. I think in this, no, that looks, that looks about good. And every direction gives it exactly four blocks. So it looks like you need exactly a chunk for this to work. Anyway, now we got to add in the portal. Now... I was planning to do it horizontally, but I don't know if this will work because if I put it with the portal block going across here, any mobs that spawned below, they'd have to wait for them to float upwards. Now, it's not really like it's that far they have to float, but it might be better to do it just to the left and just to the right. Because I think if I put a spawner or put the portals vertically, and have two of them, then it should be okay. Now, I just want to test out one thing really quickly. I would like to see, there's Hypno. Don't die, Hypno. I'm gonna have to tell him I'm doing a mob trap so he doesn't walk into it. I can't believe that happened. It was, as horrible as it was for him, it was freaking hilarious. Ugh. But that's bad karma. I shouldn't be saying that. All right. So I want to test if I do. Sorry about that. I just want to test out. I think these are translucent blocks. Will a portal go through a translucent block? Does it? No. Now, as soon as I knock this out, let's try setting it in. Alright, now the portal works, but if I try and set this down, what's going to happen? Yeah, it won't let me set it down. Alright, so I think we're going to do the vertical portals, because that's going to be the only way to get this 100%. And then I think we'll have, yeah, 100% efficient gas spawner, unless there's something else I didn't take into consideration. Now, people have also been telling me to look into wireless redstone, and that would probably work well for this if I wanted to do the horizontal versus the vertical um, portals, but I haven't looked into that yet, so we'll save that for probably when we do the witch farm, at least finish the witch farm, and I'd like to get to that today, at least uh, getting going on a new design for it. So I'm going to throw in these portals. Let's see. I want to do it right here oh, i hate to rip that up but yeah right there they'd so the furthest they could spawn they'd be touching it in one two three yeah so it looks like they'd be touching it no matter what so let's just knock this out and replace this with crystals going all the way across so i'll get that installed and then we'll cut back in Man, oh man, I hate them creepers. Just snuck up on me and blew up part of this farm. I'm going to have to go back and fix it. So you're going to have to remind me. Um, anyway, I decided to end up going with three. Just because this little spot here, we'd have gas chilling. So now we should have perfect coverage. If there are four blocks, one, two, three, four, anyone will get it there. It's only three blocks in between here, two blocks there, and three there. So we should be A-OK. -okay. Um... Before we could put the books in, let's just get a couple more things set up. Let's see. Ooh, I'm awful. I'm going to have to not empty some crap out. Okay, we're good. Next, let's set up the on-off switch. So if the spawner is going to be right there, let's bring this down. Right, and I think I can just switch over. Do I have enough of this? Oh, we're short. I'll just use this. It's not a big deal. Let's 
kind of weird how you can set it where you are standing. But, yeah. Let's just put that block there. Block here. wonder if mobs can spawn. This should be. I think this is translucent. It should be. Anyway, um, let's keep forgetting i got to press the button to make the gravity suit go. Let's go like that, and let's put a... I guess we could do marble block. Now, hopefully this will work. Where is a switch? I gotta have a switch. Do I have... Oh, I got a switch on me. I got a switch on me. All right, did that go on? Did you turn on, mister? All right, that's what it looks like there. And does it look the same? It looks the same to me. Err. I don't think that worked. Let's see. You know what? Let's just not worry about the aesthetics quite yet. Wasting time in a video. I'll worry about that later. So if I put a switch right like so, there. That for sure works. So let's turn that on. Let's place in the spawner, which is right there, and our soul shard, which is right there. Let's knock all this junk out. Let's set our spawner down. Let's set our shard in. Nice. Now, hopefully, this is good. Hopefully, this being translucent again that I'm assuming this will mean the gas can actually spawn inside of this kind of so it's not losing any spawn space let's hope I don't know for sure I guess we'll see and the one other thing I'm worried about is I hope they can't they won't try and attack me through the glass now let's get those books in now it's also important guys since we're right on the chunk border um, you can't put the little book thingies on the side here it won't work i did that first and i was freaking out but here if we go on top it's within the chunk so we that is what you're going to want either on top or below i believe assuming that it works from the bottom all right there we go we've got all of our spawner or all of our portals going and this should work no problem let's turn it on oh lag oh Look at that, so much better. So much better. And so far I haven't seen, oh, that one hit. It looks like, you know what? I might've been wrong about how far away they can spawn. Again, I've never worked on a gas farm before because there's no such thing as a gas spawner in vanilla. But hypothetic, no, you know what? It, it very likely would need to be this big, I think, to get the maximum spawning. Well, I am very happy, and we should start to see our tears rolling in. Right now, they're going over, and they're taking drowning damage. Look at that. This is freaking awesome. Oh, this is awesome. I'm so happy. I'm so happy, guys. All right. Well, I'm going to look how much time we have left in the video, and I'd like to get some work done on that witch farm. So, I'll... Meet you right back. All right, guys, here we are back at the witch farm, what we were working on last time. And the problem we're having here is one, Hypno likes to jump in it while it's working. No, um, the problem here was they get bottlenecked and this was kind of a silly design. I thought it looked cool and I'd be able to use, add in more different types of traps. But unfortunately, let's just turn it on and take a look. They just bottleneck. We get so many. I did not expect to have this many spawning this quickly. And they shouldn't have a problem with colliding because of the size of the hole, but it's just they spawn way too fast, so there ends up being a problem. So how do we fix that? Now, we didn't know last time about miscraft portals, the whole issue with the chunks, that we'd be able to have them large enough. So I was thinking about doing that as a possibility... But unfortunately, when I bring up the chunk thing, let's jump back up. 
every single damn farm has a chunk border going through it. So we're not going to make be able to make a portal that's large enough. Um, would have been a little would have been very nice if I knew about this prior to choosing the actual spot for this. But anyway, it's not a big deal. The other an easy fix for this, and probably the smartest idea, and I may go back to doing this, is I could either just extend the water streams going out for each of these and then have them just do a straight drop and make sure that none of them collide with each other. So that's another option. Or I could just move the farms in this many blocks so that it just makes a plus sign and then has a straight drop. So either of those, if I want to keep a farm like this, is probably the smartest. However, I want to have more fun with these miscraft portals. Now, I don't know how much lag they cause with so many mobs going through them, but why not try it out? I think it'll be fun. So right here fits perfectly. We got a chunk border going right there, and then it extends a bit longer, but all we need, this is a 10 by 10 platform, so we'll give the 8 by 8 spawning in the middle. So I think this will work. We'll have them teleport to another location and then teleport right back here for falling damage and that should be perfect and for now since we already have this built i don't feel like tearing it down now we'll just have them respawn back in up there and then fall down into our little system at least for now for today so i already built this i'm going to build the full cage which again we already did this yesterday we don't need to do it again so i'll meet you right back once that's done goodness it's so noisy here this is really bizarre i am the only one online and it seems like the gas spawner is still working that shouldn't be i wonder if the tier 5 spawners do work if you're not in the immediate vicinity that is really weird but that is also incredibly annoying now these gas Ooh, look at this that is bad news Oh, this is bad news. Oh, crap. Bad news, bad news. Oh! All right, we gotta turn off that spawner. Oh my goodness. That, see, they're able, they shouldn't be able to see through. But I think what's happening is they're a little bit glitching through the blocks. Because I don't, they don't, they definitely shouldn't be able to see through glass. So, I don't know what's up with that. I really just don't know. But apparently the spawner is still working, even when we're offline, or even when we're not over here. So I'm going to shut this off, and I'm going to make another little booth. Just that area in that dimension, since it's already chunk loaded. Turn off, stop spawning, you bastards. So I'll be right back, and we'll take care of that. Oh my goodness, what a mess. So I think... I'm just going to, hopefully that's what it is, due to being the glass. So I'm going to replace this later and put like all stone blocks or else some type of glass that doesn't break by ghasts. Otherwise, we're just going to have to make this thing bigger. So anyway, for the witches, um, I guess we can put it maybe like right over here. We don't need a big area. Not at all, not at all. Um, let's see. Just put this down here. Oh, we gotta check on that wrong button on that chunk border thing. Okay, good. Looks, ooh, we are right on the side of a chunk, so that's no good. We're gonna have to move over just a tad. Let's see, where is the corner? Maybe we should do it this way. All right, so if this is the corner of a chunk right here, we wanna have it go, and I'll have it just be too wide. Get out of here, dirt. Driving me crazy. Dirt, dirt. Okay. So we'll just do it something like this. Awesome. And then all the witches will just spawn right into here. Let's put a nice little floor for them. Alright, cool. 
Let's make a linking book. Actually, we're going to have to make a bunch of linking books. So we're going to have to empty out some of our inventory. All right, cool. So now let's make... We have four spawners, so... Four linking books? That should be right. Do it right here. So one... Two... Three... Four. That'll be good enough for now. We'll make more later if we need it. And let's put a little roofy roof on here. So this is where the witches are going to go once they fall through. And then we need to make a portal on this that will bring them back. Which actually we don't have the book for yet. So let's just wait a minute until we do that part. I'll meet you back at the spawner. All right, guys, here's what she looks like. This is enough for four spawners. So we have them evenly spaced, except for this last one here, just because we could make it a little bit more compact. So it is pretty nice. I better work. This is really better work. Um, ending up having five instead of four portals. So we're going to have to make one more book. That's OK. Let's set on our receptacles really quick. So we got one there, there, there. Oh, I made sure this is all within chunk borders. So that's all good. We're going to have to make one more book there, and then let's quickly make the linking book back. As I said, I want to have them, at least for now, just because we have this already set up. Let's have the witches spawn back right here right like this so they'll definitely spawn inside of here so let's make one linking book boom awesome so this linking book here is going to take us we'll put that in the upper right hand corner that is going to take us from my other age back to here and we got to put in all the spawners and everything. I'm going to put on this top linking book just so we can take a shortcut back over there. Bam. And make sure this works. Oh, why is this not working? Let's check. See what the chunk border is. All right, so that's right on a chunk border on that side. But it's not on this side. Why are you not working? Why you no work? It's the right age. Man, these portals just drive me nuts. All right, let's take it back out again. 137, 137, overworld, 137. What the heck, man? Does it have anything? It shouldn't matter that it's touching anywhere there. There's nothing obstructing it, is there? No, nothing. Why are you being a pain in the butt? Why you do this to me? All right, where's the chunk border? So we can't do it there. We could have the receptacle on this side. So I guess we'll move it to this side and see what happens. Unless, no, that's got to be what it is. That's 137. Oh, why you do this to me? All right, let me figure this out. Oh, man. I am really ticked off now. So, check this. Apparently, and I don't know this for fact, but just from testing, I can't make portals that big when it's going in the horizontal direction. It's only vertical. But this seemed to be, this was like 6x6 six six or 6x7, six I think it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, I think that's 6x7, which I know we've made bigger portals than this too, I know that we made for a fact a 7x7, seven seven. so I don't know what the freaking deals with this, someone let me know, can I make an entire chunk, I guess it would have, yeah, I should be able to make an entire chunk portal. So, and here, I just want to do a 10 by 10. 
So this doesn't seem like it's going to work, and I'm getting frustrated. I'm just going to do this instead. We are going to just, inside of this, this is going to be a quickie, quickie, quickie job. We're just going to build the cells, eight different ones, water pushing out, and then we'll have the final thing where they normally fall out. They're just going to go into miscraft portals, and that is how we're going to do it. So I'll leave this standing since it's already done, if you guys can... Help me figure this out. Otherwise, I want to get this dang thing working today. So I'm going to do that, and I'll see you back. All right, guys. So here's the basic gist of it. It's just the 8x8 room. That's where the spawner will go. There's room for it mobs to spawn underneath as well as right on top. Now, this time, I've learned my lesson. We're going to actually test out just a single one before going any further. Let's first make sure this portal works, since that seems to be the problem of the day. Only really problem of the week. All right, perfect. Let's make sure the water sources are the correct distance. Get our little Emperor's Chalice. Okay, perfect. So it should push them and let them out directly at the portal. Awesome. Go away, water. Okay, next let's figure out how we're going to be doing the redstone so we can get the spacing done correctly. With this, you know what? Let's go head back upstairs and I want to craft this wireless redstone. All right, so I got the two components that we're going to need. We have right here the wireless receiver and then there's also this wireless transmitter, which is almost exactly the same recipe. We only need one of those, and I already crafted it, but let's grab a bunch more of these bad boys. All right, four, that should be enough if we're just hooking up four spawners. And of course, recipes, recipes. You guys can look this stuff up on your own. Anywho, um, let's get a couple. Er, you're not in there. Where's my little saw thingamajigger? Where is you? All right, there we go. Um, I think I'm gonna just use marble blocks for this. So let's choppy choppy up some. That should be plenty. I'm a little concerned how these are exactly are gonna fit. As to not obstruct spawning space, all right, there's a tier five. Let's grab some of these cages. Let's head back down. Man, I gotta get a new keyboard. One that is not so loud. I apologize for that, guys. Again and again, I know it's me. I'm that guy, you can always hear it. It drives me nuts. This is the Black Widow Stealth keyboard. And apparently, it's supposed, it, they call it stealth and it's supposed to be like virtually silent but yeah it is as you can tell it's very loud it's a mechanically keyboard it was a bad buy um what you're gonna do so i don't know what what type of i forget what they call it the other type of keyboards but the non-mechanical keyboards um what, what's a good one so, um some people are just telling me to go ahead with the logitech it's a good buy for the price so i might do that um anywho Let's get this, figure out what its deal is. Okay, so that's where the spawner's gonna be. It's in the correct position. I'm not gonna go through all that jazz again. I'm assuming these are gonna be, I'm hoping anyway, that they are um, more or less wireless. Let's see, how can we do this thingamajigger? I guess right. Here, so you need one receiver, and that will go to all the transmitters. So we'll do it, I guess, right there for now. And we need our screwdriver so we can turn it around. Okay. I think that's, yeah, that should be right. Do we have a switch? Where's my switch? Where's my switch? No. Come on. Being unprepared. Okay. 
So we've got our switch. Got to always remember to put your stuff back into your ender pouch. Just in case the unforeseeable happens like it did with Hypno. Alright, that's the wrong direction, so let's turn this. Alright, there we go. So that's our on-off switch, and we'll fix this to look nicer later. Now I set up DMAC Witch Farm 666. There we go. So that should be set. And we're going to set each of these also to 666. So DMAC Witch Farm. Done. Awesome. So when we flip this, yep, see we got the signal going out, and that should be all we need. Now hopefully, oh, it's probably going to obstruct some spawning space, which is kind of stinky. Actually, ooh, ooh, this might work. This might work better. I don't know how I'm going to lay it out like that. Okay, let's see if this works, actually. This could be what we want. Because right now, if a mob spawns on top of the spawner, otherwise we'd just be putting glass. So we want to find a solution where it doesn't obstruct spawning, or where we're not going to be eliminating any more of the spawning space. Um... I think this is going to work perfect. And we got to set you. Witch farm. Okay. I think that's it. I think that is what we want. Now that spot might be obstructed still, but who cares? I don't think we need this little wire. Now let's see if I can even... Yeah, I can't even set it, but that should be... Perfect, that should be exactly what we want. Cool. All right, guys, so I'm going to do this exact same little setup. Oh, no, we said we we're going to test it first. All right, so we're going to test it. Let's put out our water. We already have all of our books set up. Okay, so that's all set. Should probably put some glass there just to protect ourselves. But just an extra precaution. Okay, so now let's get the book. No, we want to put in the spawner next. Our little spawning soul shard. So here's our soul shard. All right, let's get out of here. And if all works as planned, do we have our book? We already, okay, we have that hooked up. We didn't hook up the book. All right, I think I have it stuck over here. I didn't hook up the book in the other age, but I think, let's see which one is it, overworld. Um, yeah. Let me go set up that book and we'll be right back to test it out. Alright, here we are over at the other portal. Let's just throw this on. Make sure this book works and doesn't screw us over. Um, I think we could do it right there. Yes. Okay, so that one's all set. Let's finagle our way. I'm going to put this one higher. Okay, awesome. Now this, we should end up right at our witch farm. Yes. Awesome. All right, cross your fingers, guys. Let's hope this works. Awesome. Ooh, and I left a little hole in here. Can they even see me through this? That is very curious. Can you guys see me? <laughs> they can't even see me. Uh, what are you doing here? Kill him! Awesome. Oh, are they living? Nope, they're all dying. Sweet! We freaking did it! We did it at last. Um, 
it's not that bad, the lag. I mean, it, it is there. You can tell when it's on and off, but I don't know. Um, I'm just going to quickly set up the same thing for all four spawners. We actually have five now. How is this doing? Yeah, that's doing all right. <laughs> I took off the void pipe for now. Just because, in case a mishap happened. Didn't want the same thing to happen to me. But anyway, yeah, I'm just going to set up the rest of them. We'll come back, take a look, and then head out. All right, it's all freaking finished. And guess what? I forgot to take into account that I need them to fall into the water streams far enough. But got it fixed. We only got four fitting in now, and I just got too lazy to do another one. So we got one more with shard, but we'll save that for another time. Or I'll do that off camera or we'll put it in another spot. Anywho, let's see this freaking thing work. So we got it in there. Got the redstone, the wireless redstone now, like everyone requested, pointed down, and then another block on top just to prevent a mob from spawning on top of the spawner. So we do lose that one spot, but other than that, it's a-okay. So let's see how this works. Oh, that is so freaking cool. Oh my god, I love it. And they are all dying. Nice. So I got this arranged now. It's void piping out. Everything except for the redstone is going into our redstone chest. And look at that. Still using it just as fast as we're getting it. So that is very nice. We're going to get some crazy production. We can start setting up that next time. And then here, now, if I were to die in there, drop my arm or anything, it's going to go to this chest instead. And this is just before I set up the void pipe in those few moments. So yeah, we have an insane witch farm. It's not clogging. Max efficiency. I freaking love it. I freaking love it. So I think that's going to about do it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you do know of a way to make these work at this large, I'd still would prefer doing it this way over that. But if that does work, if somebody can give me any tips, let me know. Otherwise, we'll just keep this for now. We'll see how it goes as far as for lag. I may just make the killing area in another dimension instead of here. And that would probably at least cut down on the lag on the overworld side. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Comment, like, subscribe as always. Make sure to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Helps me out quite a bit. And yeah, peace out. Witchy, witchy, witchy.